Hey, this is News 2's Raymond Owens, and I am live in Somerville here at the Ashley Ridge High School Fox Ridge Farm. And the baby goats, hey guys, how are y'all doing? Wanna come say hi? These baby goats are out here right now, but they will be putting the goats up tonight. They have a number of baby goats. Yeah, look at that. Hey there. How are you doing, baby goat? Hey there. Anyway, isn't that, isn't, is that not adorable? Uh, they will be putting the goats up tonight because the temperatures are going to drop down into the 20s. You want to take a look at the camera too? There we go. That's another cute goat. Mm-hmm. But they will be putting them up. Like I said, I'm going to uh, let uh, Ben, let me see. You are adorable. Look at you. Let's talk to Ben Gibson. Ben Gibson, I'm about to fall over a goat behind me. This is not the baby Flo, goat. Flo is, Flo is trying to trick you there. Flo is trying to trick me. This is Ben Gibson. Uh, ben, tell me, uh, what do you do out here, Ben? Uh, I'm a teacher. This is what I teach. Uh, this is Fox Ridge Farm. It's our educational farm here at Ashley Ridge High School. 10 acres of diversified ag. Uh, a big part of that is our goat population. I think right now we're at about 55 goats, 20 of which are babies born uh, from the end of January up until as recently as the last two days. So. Uh, this is part of what we do with our, our animal science uh, educational program with the ag program. Uh, we've got we've got a number of baby goats out through here. We have uh, we have milk goats, we have meat goats, we've got pet goats, we've got about everything. So, and I know we we were talking about the the weather, the cold weather tonight. Not only do you have the um, uh, you're basically the goats, you want to kind of protect the goats. How do you do that with all these these brand new babies? Well, we bring in the babies. When it gets below freezing, we'll bring the babies in and we put them in stalls with heat lamps. So we'll take them away from mom overnight. We'll bring them back first thing in the morning. We'll put them back out here. We just want to make sure that, that we give them the best chance to be successful. Uh, they probably would be okay. Moms usually take good care of them. We leave a lot of straw, a lot of hay uh, for the moms and the babies to bed down in normally. Uh, but you know, when it gets real cold like that, we like to take a little bit of the guesswork out of it. And I know we were talking also about the Flower Town Festival is coming up in uh, about a month or so uh, here in, in Somerville, the, the azaleas. That's right. And uh, the, the weather tonight might not be good for azaleas either. Tell me about that. Well, it's not good for anything. When it gets that cold around this area of the, of the, of the state, it's, it's never real good because we're not really prepared for it. And the later it comes, even worse. So we've had a, we've had a pretty warm winter so far. So you've seen a lot of buds. I've seen some pollen here in the last few weeks. Uh, so all that, all that's going to be, be kind of knocked back a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't hit us too hard and we'll, we'll see. Uh, but make sure if you got plants outside, make sure you bring those inside. All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and let people see these goats. Baby goats will be put up tonight. They'll have some heat lamps and they will be nice and warm this evening. At least warm enough to not be freezing. Are you going to try to uh, head bump me here? Look at that. I'm more interested in, in licking on you. Than, than exactly. Than hey there, oh, you're getting, getting aggressive. Look at you. <laughs> Here's another one. How are you doing? I figured, I figured, you know, who doesn't want to see some baby goats, right? 